Well, of course, um, I'm here probably in part because of my most recent uh, endeavor, opportunity I should say. For the last month I have served as the director of the Harkin Institute for Public Policy and Citizen Engagement at Drake University. The institute, of course, is brand new, and uh, I'm new in the position, so we are still kind of feeling our way along and uh, figuring out how we're going to operate and exactly what we're going to do. But I think we have a pretty strong vision, and I'm really excited about it, and that's why I agreed to take the job. It is only part-time. I didn't really want to work. I mean, it's only a part-time job. They didn't make it part-time for me, but I'm, I'm glad it is because I really must say I have enjoyed my free time. And I don't think I would have taken a job if it hadn't been this one because it really was the opportunity to do something meaningful. So I'd like to talk about what uh, the Harkin Institute is hopefully going to be. In January of 2015, you should begin receiving a bazillion boxes, and I, I can't remember the number, Sally, do you oh, remember? I mean, a bazillion boxes <laughs> uh, of papers from Senator Harkin's Washington office covering his 40 years uh, in the House, 10 years in the House of Representatives, 30 years in the Senate. We, Drake has already renovated space in Cole's library to um, receive these archival papers, and it's the same space that will also ha uh, house Governor Ray's papers uh, from when he was the governor here in Iowa. But of course, the Harkin Institute is more, lots more, than um, a collection of papers, although it's a treasure trove of papers, let me tell you. The Institute itself will be a venue, and I hope a catalyst for research, education, and outreach, community outreach, on public policy issues. Of course, we can't do everything, and so our focus will be principally on issues that were important to Senator Harkin during his career, because of course that's what our the papers will reflect in terms of the research that scholars might want to do. And those issues include disability rights law, economic policies in the middle class, education and health, including access to education, which I think is an important issue now, childhood nutrition, agriculture, obviously, including the farm economy, food safety and security, and renewable energy, international human rights and development, and science and technology, including energy and uh, the bioeconomy. The other aspect of this institute, which makes it, I think, a little bit distinguishable from a lot of public policy institutes, is we are committed to citizen engagement. And I don't know how many of you know Rachel Payne Caulfield, who is a political science professor at Drake. She is a fabulous person. If you don't know her, you, I hope you can meet her. She will be the associate director for citizen engagement. Um, we hope to focus in that aspect of our work on the process of policy making and getting citizens involved in that process. You can talk as much as you want about public policy, but if the citizens don't care about it or they don't know how to have input, it doesn't do you much good. So we'll be looking at ways to uh, engage the community. We will particularly focus on the political process because of the caucuses here and the opportunities that that gives us. We intend to be the leading source, the hub, for information and expertise on the Iowa caucuses, and we're getting started on that. In fact, Rachel and I met this afternoon to talk about how we were going to accomplish that. She's full of ideas, and we'll probably call on a lot of you. <laughs> well, how are we going to do these things? There are a lot of activities that uh, we have planned. We'll have notable scholars come in as visiting professors who will teach classes and give public lectures. We'll have fellowships for faculty doing academic research using the papers and focusing on the issues that I've mentioned. We will have internships for students so they have the opportunity to learn by doing. We will have conferences and lectures that will occur on the Drake campus that we hope to engage students, but also the community at large. We hope in general to weave our way into the fabric of Drake University and serve as a way to enrich the academic experience for these future uh, leaders and voters. 
and we will make a, a concerted effort to engage the community in a constructive discussion of the important public policy issues of the day. And the use of the word constructive brings me to another thing that I want to talk about briefly, and that is how the Institute will go about its mission. It will be a nonpartisan institute, notwithstanding its taking its name from Senator Harkin, it will be nonpartisan, which of course an institute affiliated part of an institution of higher learning would naturally be. And um, what am I stepping on here? Um, we will also be very collaborative within the university, trying not to duplicate what other people are doing well, trying to support them and work with them to make it even better. And we also hope to be very collaborative within the community with business leaders, um, with uh, political leaders, with anybody who has an interest in public policy and wants to work with us. We will focus on study and uh, research and education that has a practical use and application that can move us forward in solving the problems and the challenges that we face as a society. And I think what is near, most near and dear to my heart is that we will make an effort to model constructive public dialogue on difficult issues. I think Drake and the Institute have an opportunity to impact how our community and certainly our future citizens and, citizens and leaders, our students, approach public policy issues considering all viewpoints, and then working together toward constructive solutions. I think through a combined focus on public policy and citizen engagement, and certainly because of Iowa's role in the presidential selection process, uh, which can provide a forum for our work, we have the unique opportunity to influence the content and process for national debate on issues of public policy, and we're going to try to do just that. It's a challenging agenda, it won't all happen in the next year, um, but we, I think we have a wonderful vision. I invite you all to become involved. If you have ideas for um, activities in any of these categories, if you have connections, we love connections, you know, people who uh, would be interested in working with us, I would love to uh, hear from you. I did have, I got my business cards today, left him in the car. <laughs> but you can find me. I'm sure you can find me. Um, oh, and I really encourage you to attend our lectures and conferences. We are going to try to make them meaningful and worthwhile of your time. So I encourage you, if you see anything put on, on being put on by the Hart Institute, please come. And I am very open to speaking with any of you individually about how you might be involved or support the work of the Institute. Uh, we, we have an open door policy. We really want to engage as many people as possible. And I'm not a politician, and I don't know a lot about the process of policy making from the angle of, you know, that we're looking at here, the political process. So any wisdom you want to share will be very welcomed by me. And I brought brochures for the Institute that are on the table down here, and there better not be any left. <laughs> so I think we have a unique and exciting opportunity here for Drake, for this community as well. And I hope you join with me and with Sally. She's involved um, in moving us forward. And thank you very much for having me here. I would answer questions, but I'm sure, I mean, that's up to you. I, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to or not. If anybody has any, you're welcome to, but they can talk to you when I want to. Yeah. Yes, I will hang around. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a very nice audience. Thank you very much for having me.